Welcome to Streaming Deluxe and welcome to another video to all of you, my friends that like the style of my videos. So write it in the commentary section. Today, Midweek Madness, which mostly starts on Monday on Steam. <laughs> so today, we, of course, we're going to talk about the Steam first person shooter fest uh, with discounts, demos and more. So this is up to until the 22nd of April. So and I already I love it. I already love this, my friends. All right. So here we going to check this out of course then we have midweek deal of astroneers we have a publisher sale of freedom games then we have a deal of uh, hardball never heard about this game then we have apocalypse party game also never heard about but we have the uh, blasphemous midweek deal hired gun also hired gun that's probably part of the first person shooter <laughs> fest then we have shadows of the doubt let's check this out Bramble, Bramble was also kind of popular actually when it comes, so people like it. <laughs> and of course, guys, I mean, everyone loves Fallout. Everyone plays Fallout again. It's it's just it's just amazing here. Yeah, Fallout four for five years. Fallout New Vegas for five years. Uh, Ready or not for thirty three and Fallout seventy six. I, I also feel like I have to go back and follow VR. That's my favorite follow, but also Fallout seventy six is pretty cool. I have an idea. Let's let's go first Bef before we uh, check out those nice deals. Let's check here uh, the the most played games and see if we can find the Fallout. Yeah, look at this guy. So Fallout Four stands now at seventy five thousand people played again. So this is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Where's for Where's Fallout seventy six? Where's Fallout seventy six? Do you see it? Do you see it? Here it is. Also thirty five thousand. I mean Fallout Four is kind of it's one of my favorite games has always been so so nothing new here also the new and trending we have uh, bendy secrets of the machine we have tinkerland so some people complain that new trending games are free games still they're new and trending i mean make your game free if you if you complain about this uh just say i saw this on on, on x that someone complained that the new and uh, the, the free free to play games uh, take all the, the new trending games. Top sellers Fallout 4, Fallout 76, as I just said, a lot of people play those games right now. And then we have the popular upcoming, of course, there we have also some very interesting deals, but here yeah, I don't see anything on the front page. Yeah, and then the specials, then the specials. So let's go to the Steam Fest. Ah, that's a Steam Fest. So if you log in, then you can uh, get some some nice little steam points icon so pretty cool check it out so here we have the popular title so this is now first person shooter so i see already i mean grand theft auto 5 was a first person shooter i played this as a first person shooter with three with 3d glasses back in the days loved it fallout 4 vr 15 euros Hunt Showdown, 14 euros, also pretty amazing. Then a game that's called Incursion Red River, never heard about this. So sometimes games come out and even me, Mr. Orange, who has this channel since six, seven years, I think I have this channel, uploading regularly about Steam games. Yeah, claim your free point shop items. And sometimes there come games come out that I do not know. Yeah, that's impossible. Wolfenstein 2 recommended. Wolfenstein the New Order recommended. Pavlov. Oh my God, I love this game. Ace Combat uh, didn't didn't uh, convince me so much. Old Blood five years again. Extraction also great game. Love those games. Absolutely recommend them. Yeah, well nothing to say about Rainbow Six Siege and Ghost of T T Tabor. Yeah, the VR game. That's the VR game. So I haven't played it myself yet. Then we have some horror games. So Back for Blood Village. Exodus for six euros, Trepunk 2 for 18 euros, Resident Evil 7 for 8 euros. I mean, come on, game, okay. Come on, games, come on, guys. Sometimes I say, come on, gays. <laughs> no, those games are really, they're really a steal. Arizona Sunshine, 35 euros already. Fear 2, that's a great one. Forgive me, Father, that's pretty new, a little bit pricey right now. Yeah. And then we have the PvE game. So Dark Tide is absolutely cool now, absolutely great game now after 
after the big update love it rip out was free to play recently star troopers extermination 23 years everyone plays now hell diver so this game kind of uh, disappeared and then yeah here we have uh, also perish so perish actually is okay 13 years might be a little bit pricey i got the review key for free i played it i liked it so i really want to go back to this game but not at the moment Prehistoric Hunt, also never heard about this for 9 euros. Battle Sister Warmer, Battle Sisters, Far Cry 6 for 15, great game. Deep Rock Galactic, 6 days in Fallujah. And then Far Cry 5, also here the VR mod works perfectly fine. You have to check this out with VR mod. So I play a lot of games with VR mod, especially the Borderland 3, also VR mod. Far Cry 6 just said it, uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland for 15 euros. I think I've seen this already a little bit, a little bit cheaper. So free demos, free demos, free demos. Here we go. Don't have to mention them again. But what I'm more interested in is the upcoming games. That's what I'm more interested in actually. And there, guys, I'm looking forward. I'm so much looking forward to these recorded games or the unrecorded Stalker 2. Those are games I want to play. Crazy on Warfare looks also interesting. Unrecord. Body cam, it's the same game. Killing for the three beautiful light extraction to the horror FPS. Never heard about this. Mouse, I heard about. Judas, Judas coming out. Deep Rock Galactic Rogue Core, Outbreak Island. It's also cool. Can't click on them all, but hey, I recommend you if you want to see, if you want to see some cool new. Um, a cool new first person shooter games coming out, Selako, of course. Then they please check this out. So, here with demos, oh, yeah, cool, excellent with a demo. Oh, that's Pine Harbor also with a demo. Looks actually also pretty cool. So, called Evil Knievel, Evil Evil, evil Knievel. Who knows this? Who remembers this? Yeah, all right. So, oh, guys, we have so much looking. So, Incursion Red River. This is Incursion Red River. Mostly positive came out 13th of April. Yeah, no, release date was the 10th of April. So, five days ago. 1,200 people played right now. So, Extraction Shooter. Hmm. Looks, looks, looks decent. Looks decent from the graphics. So, so if we look, oh, could be an amazing game in the future. At the moment, it needs a lot of work. Ah, I see already some thumbs down. Doesn't mean the game is not not good. Could be a great game, but uh, early access. So in this case, I don't personally need to play this done right now. Then we have unrecord, unrecord, hundred seven thousand followers. I mean, how much is this? This is pretty amazing. I mean, the the, the graphics filters or the way how they made this game. Let Let's be honest. It it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. The question is only, is, is the game then really good? Is it a really good game? I mean, the idea behind this is already <laughs> extremely nice. Stalker coming the 5th of September, and I know a lot of people wait for this game. And I think GSC Game World is a, is a studio from Ukraine. Bah. So funny, it looked so much better when it first, when I saw first the pictures. It's always like this, then at one point. You, you played already a lot of other games that look incredible, then games start looking again a little bit less good, but hey, I mean, it still looks amazing. But <laughs> just with time, uh, games look bad, a bit less good. So remember the first time you saw Doom, Doom 2, and now you play Doom 2 and you say, yeah, the graphics is not that good anymore. <laughs> this is, uh, I think, the most interesting part uh, in gaming. So realistic, military title, gray zone. Coming. I'm not so fan of two realistic games. And this is the game Body Cam. 67,000. So, also a lot of people like this game. So, probably, probably, probably <laughs> it'll look pretty similar. So, but it's like people mix, going to mix up those two games completely. Triple A Interactive, Killing Floor 3. I mean, I would say everyone expects a lot from Killing Floor 3. Do we have some? In game, so I mean, it looks fun, great graphics. So, I see myself buying this game, playing this game because I really like Killing Floor in general. Then we have Beautiful Light, Beautiful Light. So, 
Let's see. Let's see. This looks, I mean, I mean, this is a rendered trailer. This is uh, most probably not game, uh, in-game graphics. But looks pretty colorful and very nice. I mean, I like what I see. I like what I see, but, but, but this is the game. Oof. Oh my God, look at those zombies. Oh my God, they look scary. Dude, they look scary. They look pretty scary, guys. I like it. I like what I see. I like what I see. Graphics decent. Graphics decent. Atmosphere absolutely great. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope they manage to create a good game. Deep World SA. Never heard about them. Totally new. Totally new. Let's hope it's a good game. <laughs> Mouse. This this game is now after after the license. Uh, the, uh, what was it now? The intellectual property actually for Mickey Mouse for the old Mickey Mouse. Uh, uh, was uh, was 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 running out, so uh, it's not protected anymore. So now everyone can make a Mickey Mouse old style Mickey Mouse uh, comic and game. If this is really the case, so yeah, well, someone makes the first person shooter pretty cool. Judas, oh, of course, Judas guy. So I know a lot from the creator of Bioshock. I know a lot of gamers looking forward to this game. When I first saw the trailer, or uh, we all saw the trailer. I think we were all pretty amazed by this title. I mean, it looked so cool. Still looks great. The idea. Oh, look at it. So colorful. So cool. Wow, nice, nice style. So absolutely like the art style. Let's hope the game is going to be fun. Here we go. Some gameplay. I mean, check out those trailers. So I, I could just give you a little glimpse about the games that I think are worth to check out a bit closer. So it's going to be pretty cool. Then we have Outbreak Island Hype Train Digital. Open World Survival Craft. Let's have a look. Yeah, so the plan here with this game obviously is not to make the graphically best game on the market. However, however, still looks extremely fun. Survival. Yeah, another dark survival title. So with little monsters and zombies probably. <laughs> Those games are difficult. I mean, it's always the question if they manage to, to deliver. And Silaco is so cool. Silaco really so cool. That's like old school art style. But I played also demo, really enjoyed this. And I guess this is going to be a very popular game. And Silaco, for me, it reminds me always uh, about uh, about this uh, about the alien ship, Silaco. I think it's Silaco. It's also cool. So therefore, I always thought like. It, it's like an aliens game, but I don't think it has anything to do with aliens. Yeah. Boomer shooter. Prime Harbor. Prime Pine Harbor. What did I say? Prime Harbor? No, Prime Harbor. <laughs> no, that's Pine Harbor. Looks decent as well. Yeah, very grey, very grey, but very gory. And if this is gameplay graphics, this looks actually amazing. <laughs> yeah, it has it has actually a very realistic style. So horror horror plus realism like that. Then we have the publisher sale of Freedom Games. Who is Freedom Games? What are they doing? So maybe you know one or another game. I actually don't know any of those games. Is there a single game I heard about? Human Human Knights. It's, yeah, that's the only one I heard about. Let's move on. Blasphemous. Did I really click on Blasphemous? Yeah, it's a classical Blasphemous for 624. Nothing special. Unbelievable. Mr. Orange, so what do you click there? Oh, we have another game festival. Shadows of the Dow of Doubt Elect Detective Game. So let's go here and look at the London Games as the London Games Festival. I mean, how do they write London? People can't even read this. 
Yeah, also, and some other uh, upcoming games, pretty cool. Phoenix Springs, Mimic, Luna Abyss. I mean, Citizen Sleeper 2, very cool, very cool game. So, so Ram, Random Access Mayhem, the Fishbowl, Enemies, uh, Fall Up. So again, a lot of great stuff, guys. Premel, the Mountain King, 12 euros. Talked about this overwhelming positive or review. So that's pretty cool. So I'm waiting for this game. I wait for a bundle. So don't need to. I don't need those games yet. I, I just play anyway. Strength Dogma all the time right now, and I even have for Horizon Forbidden West. And I told you in another video, I'm going to purchase Horizon Forbidden West and Strength Dogma 2 more or less at the same time. So I purchased it at the same day actually, and they came out with a difference of one day. And my problem is I haven't played Forbidden West and I just played uh, Strength Dogma. And people hated me on this video, but hey, <laughs> I, can, I live over this guy. So. Tinkolan, Tinkolan. Oh, we so cute, so cute. Free to play. Tinkolan is free to play. Open world survival craft. Nice. Sea of Radiation prologue. Yeah, I like that. Also free to play. The prologue is free to play. Hmm. Not really clear what it is. Top down, casual, but this looks already pretty cool. All right, so, and then of course, as always, uh, at the end of this video, we go to Steam database and there we see PGA Tour 3, 2K23 and Fallout 76 are played for free. Still squad Death in the Water also on sale. So if you missed them, uh, Donut Country is still on sales. We have Dusk Doomkeeper for nine euros on sales. Psychonauts, 50% down. BPM bullets per minute, 75% down. Now under five euros, high on life. 27 euros, a bit pricey. Uh, process in arm health highway the classic for 374 maybe i'm going to get myself this game heaven's vault heaven's vault 60 percent down uh, la, 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 da, da. and if we move down if we move down of course we have deep rock we have astroneer frozen state contagion we are outbreak insurgency bomb simulate curse of the dead gods atom RPG series, um, you see some, some very good deals and actually with some very good prices. Reflex Arena, Reflex Arena, 99 cents. That Synchronicity for 99 cents. We have Reggie, Indian game for 612. Ray of the Hunter, ah uh, yeah, for 20 euros, interesting price. I think it's it also works with VR. Uh, we will be a mod, of course, Source of Madness for 8 euros, Evil West for 17.49, Elder Round for under 10 euros, don't recommend it, Super Hot, yeah, did I say I don't recommend I think it's too difficult. Poo, and more, and then here we have all the games that have never been the cheap before, like journey like pummel party and games i talked about already so all right guys thank you very much for watching see you next time bye bye